from my enemies, oh God. Hotel, peace. Yo. I was on the um I was on the city I was on the city bus yesterday. And uh I came across this uh issue here at um at the time at the Tampa Bay Tampa Bay uh newspaper. The actual news. Um and the shit. It just grabbed me, it just it caught me, you know what I'm saying? Cause I, I couldn't really believe that they was putting this in print. But since they put it in print, I'm airing it online. And you know, I think it's something that that we need to, you know what I'm saying, check throughout our regions, wherever you at, you know what I'm saying? I'm down here at the bottom. AKA Florida, you know what I'm saying? East Coast. If you're up in NY, if you're out in LA, if you in the Midwest, wherever you at, check out these statistics, man, because check it out. The headline is uh labor in Florida is losing its grip. Research out today shows flat wages, rising costs, and widening gaps. Alright. Boom. I'm gonna just read it to you. For the working stiff, the one whom Labor Day was meant to honor, this is a great day to get away from it all. But based on statewide analysis coming out today, the celebration may be restrained. In their annual State of Working Florida report, researchers at Florida International University paint a sobering picture of the labor market. Wages are stagnant, costs are up, and jobs are hard to find and get particularly for minorities. It's right here. The divide between the haves and the have-nots widened, with wages going up 37% for the wealthiest Floridians since 1979, and only 2.4% for the bottom uh, tenth of wage earners. The report says minority workers will continue to feel the most pain. It's right here. It cites projections that the unemployment rate for African Americans will have risen to 16.9% by the middle of 2010, compared with 13.4% for Hispanics and 10.4% for whites. Meanwhile, the cost of living continues to surge up about 25% in Florida over the last six years. Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Tampa, St. Petersburg rank second and third in the country, respectively among metro markets that have seen the uh, steepest increase in the cost of living between 22 and 28. In recent years, Florida had been on a roll, narrowing the wage gap, coming closer to jobs, paying what the average American makes. But in the last couple of years, that has leveled off, with Floridians making about 97% of the national median wage. The bottom line is that we're losing ground. The FIU report concludes that all job and wage gains of the state's boom years between 2004 and 2007 have been wiped out. They even got... A little graph right here. I don't know if you can see that. So that's just a little report, man, from the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Do your research. Check up on your, your region. See what's going on. And um you know, talk to the you know, we gotta we gotta speak up. We gotta we gotta talk to the <laughs> somebody, man. I'm saying that's not my area of expertise, but somebody out there watching this video, you know what I'm saying? Action got to be taken. So let's do that. Peace, Hotel 100. Catch you on the next one.